In this video, I'm going to derive the general rotation matrices that allow you to rotate about the x, y, and z axes. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to look down each of the axes in turn. So, we're going to look down the x axis. Okay? And what's going to happen is if I look down that, I'm looking into the corner of the room effectively. And I'm seeing the z axis go upwards and the y axis going to the right. And I've got these two points. This point is 0, 1, 0. It is going to be rotated round by an angle theta. I'm just going to drop a perpendicular to the y-axis there. And likewise, this point here is going to rotate round to this new point, also by an angle theta. OK? This length is 1, because that's 1, that must be 1, that must also be 1, OK? So the hypotenuse of these right angle triangles is 1. So what are the new coordinates? Well, the thing is, what's happened is that any point that is on the x-axis will remain fixed. So 1, 0, 0 stays precisely where it is. 0, 1, 0, however, although it will its x-axis coordinate will remain fixed because um, of the rotation. Its y-coordinate is the base of this right-angle triangle, which is the adjacent side. And so that is cosine of the angle. So that is its new y-coordinate. Its new z-coordinate is actually the opposite of that triangle, and so sine of theta. As for 0, 0, 1, its x-coordinate will remain fixed. Its y-coordinate, which is its horizontal one in this diagram, has gone from 0 this way. This is the opposite of the triangle. And so that is negative sine theta, because it's to the left of where I'm taking as positive. And its new z-coordinate is the adjacent, which is cosine theta. And so this represents a rotation about the x-axis by angle theta. Right. Let's now have a look down the y-axis. Now, the y-axis, um, if I'm looking down that way, will draw out that z that is x, OK? I've got this point here, 1, 0, 0, which is being rotated round. And we'll make an angle theta, like so. And this point here, 0, 0, 1, which is rotating round by an angle theta. There's my right angle triangle. So. Once again, the hypotenuse of each of those triangles is 1. So we have a look at the x-coordinate first, OK? Zero, uh, 1, 0, 0. Now, that's positive, remember, OK? The way that I've drawn it. To the left is positive. So this is its new x-coordinate. It was 1. It is now the adjacent of this right-angle triangle, and so it is cosine theta. So 1, 0, 0 has gone to cosine theta. Its y-coordinate will remain fixed because we're rotating about the y-axis. Its z-coordinate is this length here, the opposite of the right-angle triangle, so sine theta. But because we're going down, we're taking down as negative for z, that is minus sine theta. Notice how it's not just a replica of the order of these. Okay. Now, the y-coordinate will remain fixed. The z-coordinate, its y-coordinate will remain fixed. OK, it's the other two that will change. Now, its x-coordinate here is going from 0, is going this way in the positive direction. This is the opposite side, and so that is sine theta. And it has gone from 0, 0, 1 to 0, 0, uh, sorry, the 
the y coordinate is 1, and it has gone to the adjacent of the right angle triangle, which is cosine theta. And so that is the rotation about the y axis. So, last one, looking at the rotation about the z axis this time. OK, so if I'm looking down, um, bird's eye view of the floor, here's y, here's x. Here's my point at 1, 0, 0, being rotated around. And here is my point being rotated round. OK. Right. So, 1, 0, 0 first then. Now, its x-coordinate was 1. It is now... Uh, the adjacent to this right angle triangle, so cosine theta. Its y coordinate was 0, but it's now going in the positive y direction, and that's the opposite side, and so sine theta. Its z coordinate will remain fixed at 0 because we're rotating about the z axis. As for the y coordinate, its x coordinate was 0. But now its x coordinate is the opposite side. Okay, so that's its y, y, but this is the x direction, isn't it? Okay, and because that's positive, this will be negative sine theta. The y coordinate is the adjacent of this right angle triangle, and so that is cosine theta. Its z coordinate will remain fixed at zero. Where well, uh, and also z at 0, 0, 1 will remain fixed in the rotation. And so that is my rotation about the z-axis. So x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, these are the rotation matrices that allow you to do those 3D transformations.